Welcome back everyone to another episode of Podcast Name. Today we have a special guest to one and only Dave Bautista. Dave, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. So Dave, you spend most of your time in Florida, but I hear you enjoy coming to New York City. How do you find it? Yeah, well, I love New York. It's interesting. I come to promote movies and I usually have fans seeking autographs. There was this one kid who followed me everywhere thinking I wanted some weed. He was determined to get it for me. Wow, that's quite a story. Did he ever give you the weed? No, oh, I told him I was good. It's funny, New Yorkers are very helpful that way. Speaking of your early years, I have to ask about this photo of you as a 16-year-old. What was going on back then? Justin, I was just starting to lift weights. I was awkward and uncomfortable, but my dad was proud of me. I was starting to get jacked. That's amazing. Did you always know you wanted to go into wrestling? No, I initially wanted to bodybuild. After 13 years, I was just big and jacked but broke. I thought about professional wrestling. but my first trial in Atlanta was miserable they told me i'd never make it well they were clearly wrong you're now crushing it in both wrestling and acting you just did a movie with samuel l jackson what was that like it was great samuel is exactly who you think he is funny and a veteran he taught me how to hit my mark on set which was super helpful it's awesome you've been busy promoting my spy the eternal city have you done anything fun this summer how's all well oddly enough i did ride a jet ski with a polar bear no way That's incredible. Let's talk about your movie My Spy, The Eternal City. Can you set up what's happening in this one? Sure. My character JJ is in full on dad mode while Chloe Coleman's character Sophie is in obnoxious teenager mode or trying to bond and connect as a family while saving the world. I heard you got a new tattoo inspired by the film. What's the story there? Yes. During the promotion of the first film, Chloe thought I had a Winnie the Pooh tattoo. I didn't, but I loved her so much that I got one for her. It's like that's so sweet. Can you show it to us? That's a great tattoo. Thanks for sharing that. Before we wrap up, let's play a clip from My Spy, The Eternal City. That's what I'm talking about, Dave. Thank you so much for joining us today. Everyone, make sure to check out My Spy, The Eternal City, streaming now on Prime Video. Dave Bautista, everyone. Thanks for having me. That's it for today's episode. Stay tuned for more exciting interviews on podcast. Name, take care, everyone. So let's dive right in. You spend most of your time in Florida, but I know you enjoy coming to New York City. How do you find it here? Yeah, I live in Tampa, but I do love coming to New York. It's always interesting. I come here mostly to promote movies, and it's always an adventure. For instance, there's this one kid who followed me around everywhere thinking I wanted some weed. He was determined to get it for me, kept insisting on it. That's quite a story. Did he ever actually give you the weed? Yes, no. We told him I was good. It's funny because I'm not opposed to it, but I didn't need his help. New Yorkers are just very helpful that way, even when you don't need it. So loves only New York. Speaking of your early years, I have this photo of you as a 16-year-old. What was going on back then? Thing like so, I mean, I was just starting to lift weights. I was 16, very awkward and uncomfortable. My dad actually took that picture. He was really proud of me because I was starting to get jacked. That's amazing. Did you always know you wanted to go into wrestling? <laughs> no, not at all. I initially just wanted to lift weights and thought I wanted to be a bodybuilder. After 13 years, I was big and jacked but broke. I had nothing to show for it. That's when I considered professional wrestling. My first trial was actually miserable. They told me to leave and said I'd never be a pro wrestler. Wow, they were clearly wrong about that. Look at you now. You're not only a successful wrestler but also crushing it in acting. Speaking of acting, you recently worked with Samuel L. Jackson. What was that like? Sir, it was incredible. Samuel is exactly who you think he is. Funny, a veteran and very generous with his knowledge. He taught me a lot, including how to hit my mark on set, which is something I struggle with. Can you tell us more about that? What advice did he give you? There's this basic rule in acting. Know your line, that's your mark, and say your line. I always struggled with hitting my mark. Samuel showed me a little trick. He told me to carry something in my hand and look at it to hit my mark. It. it was a game changer for me. That's such a great tip. Let's talk about your movie, My Spy. This Eternal City. This is a sequel, right? Can you set up what's happening in this one? Yes, it's a sequel to My Spy. In this one, my character JJ is in full undead mode. While Sophie, played by Chloe Coleman, is in full-on obnoxious teenager mode, we're trying to bond as a family while also trying to save the world. <gasps> It's a fun mix of action and comedy. That's so sweet. Can we see the tattoo? How's your show's tattoo? There it is, my Winnie the Pooh tattoo. I think that's fantastic. I love it. Now you've been busy promoting my spy in the Eternal City, but have you done anything else fun this summer? The last yes, actually. Oddly enough, I did ride a jet ski with a polar bear. No way. That sounds incredible. You're always full of surprises. Before we wrap up. Let's play a clip from My Spy, The Eternal City. I think that's what I'm talking about. Dave, thank you so much for joining us today. 
it's been a pleasure having you here everyone make sure to check out my spy the eternal city streaming now on prime video dave otista everyone hey thanks for having me it's been great